Hey guys, my name is Notch, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. <gasps> oh, Ivory Candy Pop Bud! Uh, last time, we made it down to the subterranean complex, the second dungeon here in the Valley of Repose. And it's a difficult one at that. It, this is technically the last dungeon you're supposed to come here, uh, uh, supposed to come visit here in the Valley of Repose, but I have, I have my reasonings for being here. Uh, and it, it's very, very good reasonings, and egg trap! What the heck? Okay, then. We got armored cannon lavas on this... Oh, so much egg traps! Uh, is there... Oh! 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 Okay! I think I know who's priority number one here. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. So, when it comes to these guys, get out of the nectar. Who did I call? Why do I have 16? Oh, I have a yellow in there. Okay, when it comes to armored cannon beetle uh, lavas like this, you can't stun them because they're in the ground. So we just gotta hope for the- OH MY GOD THAT RED! <laughs> no! Bro tripped in- oh, oh, oh. oh man, yeah, fighting these guys is not fun. DIE! Oh, he had a treasure on him as well. Okay, so he was requ re required. That's just great, that's just swell. Uh, let's get this. Hey, so many egg traps! What is going on with this dungeon? I mean, I'm all for it, but my Pikmin don't need it. We're all good with uh, flowers right here. We don't have those leaves. Uh, I want to get that ivory candy pop out. Oh, hey, another treasure. Okay, cool. So is that part over there required? Because there's two lavas. Uh, lavares. Over there, I don't think so. Oh, we got a bigger gear? Okay. A mega flywheel. Hey, we hit. Hey, can we just hit 60,000 or am I going crazy? Did we do that in the last episode? I can't remember. We got a. We got a bolt? We got a, it's not a screw. Well, it's a bolt, I'm pretty sure. Super strong stabilizer! Uh, if you would, if you would have guessed, uh, some dungeons actually do have themes, and the theme of this dungeon is all about machines and uh, the amazing contraptions and components that one could make with these uh, with the, with the components. Or so, I don't freaking know. I'm not. I'm not an engineer or anything. I'm just a just a simple guy who likes to play video games. That's all there else to all there is to it. Don't see me. Don't see me with that stuff. Don't look at me with them beady eyes of yours. And we got a spring! Oh, it's a bit rusted on the bottom. Oh yeah, it's Coiled Launcher. That is an accurate description. <laughs> Think of a name that is not a spring. Coiled Launcher. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, oh, we got... Oh, okay, the nectar was useful then. We, we got the white. Drink up, fellas. You're gonna need it. You're definitely gonna need it, because I remember there is a floor on this, uh, in this dungeon that you need to rely on whites a whole lot. We're gonna... I think it's the next one coming up, I'm pretty sure. It's that or it's the... It's one of the later floors of this dungeon. So, I'm I'm a huge fan of the SMG4 channel, and they just dropped the best uh, video, uh, best episode I have seen during like uh, the whole Puzzle Vision arc. It, I think it's I think it's like a conclusion, but honestly, I would love to see more of Mr. Puzzles. He was such a good villain. Whoa! Okay, um, yeah. They, these right here. <laughs> that is the reason why you want to throw purples at eggs. Those enemies, they're Matites. Not Metatite, not the Pokemon. Matites. Matites, they only show up uh, 
forming uh, in groups in eggs or coming out of the ground. These things scare Pikmin into a frenzied state, leaving him running around the whole place uh, being uncontrollable. But upon killing these guys, they drop a whole bunch of nectar. It is insane. Oh boy, yeah, that is the reason why you want to throw purples at them because purples are not st uh, they're not phased by their scariness. They just go, oh, okay, you want the smoke? We'll give the smoke. Uh, regarding uh, the episode, it was an SMG4 movie, just uh, uh, concluding the Puzzle Vision story, and holy crap, the song was an absolute banger. They really cooked with it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna convert more of you guys! See, this is what I mean when getting whites not gonna be is not gonna be a problem. Check out how many no well, I think there's only just two, but there was that one candy pop bud up, uh, on the uh, on the on the sub uh, on the previous sub level. Jeez, why couldn't I find the You hog! Okay, 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 okay. Let's get out of there. I'm pretty sure Matites, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Matites were in Pikmin 4. I can't remember. I did that Let's Play a while back, but if they were, I'm pretty sure Purples are actually now afraid of them. Eh, yeah, making it whole go, oh, okay, then that's, that's, that's cool, I guess. And this right here, introduction of of the water geysers actually being on a floor that is not the final floor. This gives us a chance to go back to the uh, above ground anytime we want if you're on this floor. If this is for one of the harder dungeons in uh, in this game, so it's giving you like a nice little way out if you're having trouble uh, completing it and coming back when you're ready. But we're true gamers, we're gonna push on through. We might not be ready for it, but hey, I really want that key item. And it will be such a major help. And I don't think there's anything else on this floor except for the dead Matites. Might as well continue on. How many whites do we have now? Uh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. How many? We have 25 whites. Okay, not bad. It's gonna be smooth sailings from here on out. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah! Save the game. The game has been saved. Sub-level 5 of the subterranean complex. Whee! Oh, yes! It is this floor! Okay! So, sub-level 5. This is the floor I was talking about uh, in, later, uh, in previous episodes. This floor is riddled with bomb rocks and bomb rock traps. And a new enemy! This guy! A volatile dweevil! These are basically suicide bomber dweevils. Uh, they will detonate themselves and run towards you, and if you're caught up in the explosion, it will deal massive damage to you and the Pikmin. So, the best course of action on, on this floor is to have a captain with no Pikmin go take care of the bomb rocks and all the volatile dweevils with it. So, it makes uh, traveling through this area a lot easier and a lot safer. But, there is a catch. And I will show you what that catch is once we get rid of every single bomb rock on this floor. And let me tell you, this game's a jerk when it comes to that. Uh, yeah. Okay, there. I think we're all good with the bomb rocks and the volatile dweevils right here. Uh, they got rid of the volatile dweevils in Pikmin 4, so but they real they kind of didn't at the exact same time. What I mean about uh, this. Uh, is that they got rid of the enemy, but the the characteristic of a volatile dweevil pa carries on to the other dweevils, meaning uh, they can pick up a bomb rock and act like a volatile dweevil. Yeah, it is insane. So they got rid of an enemy, but they really didn't at the exact same time. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Uh, both treasures are here, so we're gonna have to get our whites for this. And Louie, you can be the one to do that. Okay, so what I mean by the catch is, check this out. The reason why you want whites on this floor is because they can run fast. They are the fastest Pikmin, and check this out. 
I'm pretty sure... Yeah, check it out. I ran past that area without Olimar. So there are traps with Pikmin. There are... Yeah, it's... It's insane. We're gonna have Olimar come back and take care of this volatile dweevil. Yeah! Don't come near me. No, 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 no. And you're dead. Yeah, this game is a jerk. It is an honest to God jerk. But not only that, there are traps when Pikmin carry things back. Yeah, we're gonna get all of our guys on. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, wow! That's insane! We get, uh, get all 20 of you, and I'm going to stay with them. I don't trust this game one bit. I'm a very cautious player when it comes to this. Because whites are hard to come by. They don't have an onion, you can only find them underground. Wait. Or am I going crazy? I think I was going crazy. No, I swear I hear a dweevil. Huh? Okay. I guess that's a thing now. That <laughs> paranoia is the biggest enemy in this game. Here we go right here. Adam, Adamante, Adamanta, blah. Adamante gir, Adamant girdle. I'm gonna say Adamant girdle. Girdle? What the hell is a girdle? Alright, we got one more treasure down there, and then we can get out of this demonic bomb rock hell. It is it's scary down here. Why 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 is there suicide bomber spiders and all that? Oof! Only Nintendo can think of this! Run! Get the hell out of there! Huh? What? Oh no! <laughs> when did I give you the indication to start digging that up? <laughs> what? Ah! No! No! Oh! oh. On the L button? I need to look at that in post, cause no! I killed too wide! Upon inv further investigation, I did indeed press the L button. Giving those two white Pikmin commands to dig that up. I am the sole reason why they died. <laughs> they will not be forgotten. They were true soldiers. They may, they may have been, they were only born in the last, in the last level, but their memories will live on as little treasure carriers. They were brave. They got us the mystical disc. Oh man. That sucks! Really? I didn't give the indication for you to dig that up, did I? I may have, or maybe I did. Maybe I've, like, to get her out of the way, I may have accidentally pressed the L button when com giving a command. Those guys were troopers! They don't care if a suicide bomber is coming towards them. Then we're gonna, we're gonna pay off the debt. We're gonna get them out of here. We're gonna make them see their beloved SS Dolphin again, even though I was playing as Louie then. Oh, man, that sucks. That actually sucks. Well, anyway, we got... Oh, hey! That's... convenient. <laughs> that is very convenient. I will... That is the weirdest treasure spot I have seen in this game. I'm not even kidding. Who put it... What? Repair Juggernaut. <laughs> okay. That's weird. Okay, we got poison... Oh, it's on that side. Okay. Hang on. Course of action. Course of action. You, Bomb Rock, spawn in. Come in. I don't think that will work on the Nano Beetle, but we shall try. Oh, 
Boy, <laughs> get the hell out of there! Go away. Uh, new enemy over here. Uh, this uh, purple dweevil. This is a munge dweevil. Those dweevils are poisonous. Just like the fiery dweevils we've seen, uh, they will spit out poison when given the chance. So you better get the hell out of there. Uh, we got a treasure over there. We got another fount of water geyser over there. That's insane. I want to test something. These poison generators. I think they can be destroyed with bomb rocks. If I'm not mistaken, can you show it off for us, please? Thank you, game. Thank you, careening the Rigi bug. Makes my life a lot more easier! Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Oh boy, okay, this is gonna be a problem. Get you. Kill it, 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 get out of there! Alright, he can take that. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, he can pick it up. Oh, hey! Don't run off! Don't run off! Oh, yeah. Uh, Dweevils can also carry... Uh, I did mention this, but I didn't mention the fact that when Pikmin are trying to carry things and the Dweevils carry it on their back, Pikmin can actually be carried as well. So, in dungeons like this, where there is nothing but an endless abyss down there, and a dweevil falls off the edge, basically taking our Pikmin with them. Oh boy, this is gonna be a problem. He's real, boy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what? Ooh, ooh, uh, yeah. Why are you an enemy? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, blow up. Ooh. Oh, oh, crap! Holy crap! Get the hell out of there! Why? I hate these things. Karinger. Oh, he killed it. Oh, boy. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Okay. Hey, you just gonna... Oh. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Holy crap! I'm going down, I'm taking you with me! He shoved them off! What was that? Okay. You! We got a space wave receiver! <laughs> what the fuck was that? What? Dude! What? <laughs> What's They put too much enemies over here! They put too many enemies here! Bro! What am I supposed to do in this situation? Hey, throw that! I want to get this cream Dorigi bug out of the way! Please don't jump, please! Gotcha! Very nice! That is what we are going for. Oh boy. Really? Electricity and a poison in the exact same area? Dude, this game's a joke! Don't go in there! Don't go in there! Holy crap! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! 
die. You're next. And the, what the fuck? What? <laughs> yeah, okay, another thing is, uh, when they carry, when uh, Dweevils carry things and they fall off the edge with those items, yeah, the items spawn back, but the enemies don't. That is funny. The, okay, that completely makes up for the fact that I just lost, like, what was it? I lost two? And now we're at six. I lost five! I lost five Pikmin to that thing! Fuck! Vacuum processor! We're done here! Well, actually, we're not done here. I still need to get that munch to evil added into the Piclopedia. There we go. Okay. Whoo! That what that was the most hectic thing I have seen yet in this game. Well for this let's play, I've seen way crazier things when playing by my by myself in my off time. But that was that was nothing compared what Bro just straight up threw them off the edge! Like that. Oh I think I remember this sub Yeah. Okay, I'm going to end things off right here because we're still not done with this dungeon and we have just encountered something dangerous and I'm going to show you what it is in the next episode. So next time on Pikmin 2, we're going to explore this sub-level and see what's making all those noises. And let me tell you, it's not pleasant. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all will have a good one.